In this video, we will cover how to create and set up a nozzle within your in command display. Having a nozzle selected in the in command allows you to utilize features such as droplet size monitoring, pressure fallback, and pressure rate control. Nozzle selection is supported with Direct Command L2, Bright Spot, and Isobus Liquid Systems. This video will show you how to add a nozzle for a sprayer using the Direct Command L2 module. To create a nozzle, you will first need to be loaded to the mapping screen with your spraying configuration. To access the nozzle selection screen, tap the nozzle icon in the lower left hand corner. Within nozzle selection screen, there will be a preloaded list of generic nozzles to choose from. To create a custom nozzle, tap the green plus. For this tutorial, we will build a turbo T-Jet nozzle as an example. For the entirety of the nozzle setup, you must reference your nozzle manufacturer's tip chart. You must first enter the nozzle name, then select the nozzle color from the dropdown. Next, fill in the reference pressure in reference flow. These values are required to create a custom nozzle. A reference PSI of 40 is commonly used. However, this can vary based on your nozzle type and specific application needs. Regardless of what reference pressure is used, always use the flow capacity of that nozzle at that specific pressure. This will be your reference flow. If preferred, you may also enter a minimum and maximum pressure. Having a min and max pressure entered allows the system to alert the user if the main boom pressure falls outside of that range. If the nozzle is compatible with a nozzle pulsing system like right spot, you'll want to check nozzle pulsing. If the nozzle is not compatible, for example, air induction nozzles, then you will leave nozzle pulsing unchecked. To finish a nozzle setup, tap droplet size setup. First, enter the max pressure for the nozzle indicated on the tip chart. Then tap each droplet size that the nozzle is capable of. Lastly, enter the minimum pressure for each droplet size by tapping on the calculator icon. Tap the green check. Tap the green check to save this custom nozzle. Select your newly created nozzle from the list, then tap the green check. Now you can see the name and color of your custom nozzle on the mapping screen, along with the pressure gauge that displays various color ranges to indicate a change in droplet size. The droplet size will also be displayed here with its correlating symbols. If we return to the nozzle selection screen by tapping the nozzle icon, you will notice the nozzle list is now filtered by custom nozzles only. To change the filtered list of nozzles, check or uncheck the generic and custom boxes. To delete a nozzle, select your nozzle from the list, then tap the red minus. To edit a custom nozzle, select your nozzle from the list, then tap the wrench. Please note that generic nozzles cannot be edited or deleted. Now you will be able to successfully create a nozzle to utilize all the features within the Direct Command L2 system. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.